Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Um, today's video is gonna be a little different. It's gonna be a how-to, and I'm gonna show you how I have made all of these boards that are in my modeling AC at home series. So I kind of give step-by-steps in a few of my videos, especially the one I have pulled up here where it's my pantry video. Um, I walk you through how to get the tell me word power vocabulary board. Um, and then I kind of verbalize how I go through the strips here and create those as well. But I've had a lot of questions about it. So I thought it would be easier to make a video about it and then be able to reference this in the future. And then for those of you who have asked about it. So uh, again, these are just my modeling AC at home videos. I'm on my playlist here. And so what I've done is I have these manual communication boards that I've printed off and I'll show you how I got those. And then today I'm also gonna show you how I create these um, additional vocabulary strips up at the top that are very uh, topic oriented for the place that I put these boards throughout my house. Um, and so if you're new to this video and this channel, welcome. My name is Jeannie Antrim. I'm an SLP and an AC therapist. I have been for the past nine years. Um, I also have a son who his speech was a little bit difficult to understand um, and still can be at times. And so when we were going through that period, um, I started putting up main communication boards because it's what I know um, throughout our house. And then it just helped decrease some of that frustration that we would have whenever we would have communication breakdowns because of speech intelligence eligibility. But I recommend using these um, throughout your home if you do have an AAC user um, or if you had a child like mine who just has a little bit of trouble communicating um, and has some breakdowns due to intelligibility. Um, because if we have, a, for instance, an AAC user, we're not always going to have the device everywhere. Um, they're cumbersome. Um, even though they're made to be lightweight and everything, it's still um, cumbersome to carry around and make sure that it's always in every place around your house. So if you can have these free um, manual communication boards that you can print off for free, you can laminate them, put them in page protectors um, for durability, and then you can just post them around your house and then that way you're providing access to communication throughout your home and you don't have to worry about, oh, the device is on the charger or it's been left in the living room and we're up in the bedroom. Um, you don't have to worry about that because you still have communication available. All right, so let's get to it here. So first I'm going to show you how to access this board and then I'm going to also reference if you're using a different vocabulary system, you can still do this type of thing. It's just gonna look a little bit different because you have a different vocabulary system. So not all the steps will be the same. So um, what I'm gonna do ah, is not click on everything here. I just wanna move this down just a little bit. All right, we're going to go to the Satilla page. So I'm just here at Satilla.com. Um, and I'm going to show you how to access these boards for free. So you're going to go to implementation. We're going to go to chat corner. And I'm going to scroll down. And then low tech communication board options over here at the left is where I'm going to go. And they give you lots of different pictures. Uh, you can even print off like low tech communication like binders in a way that has a ton of fringe and um, the alphabet available up at the top, which is really nice as well. So, um, but for me, I just wanted a simple manual communication board that I could tape or sticky tack to my wall. Um, but I wanted family members available to it. And I also wanted certain concepts available. So um, for me, I chose the Tell Me core board, which is right here. You're seeing a little picture of it because I can get the word same and different, big and little. I get all those family members. I get concepts like first, next, and last, which I used a lot with my son um, for transitioning and between activities and everything. You get a few feeling words as words as well which I just really liked um, and we use those a lot. So that's why I picked this board. But you'll go down here to the bottom. Um, each of them are labeled um, on the board so you can tell which one it is. And then you just go down here to the bottom and I would click on the tell me board. 
which is right here, I believe. Um, and then you can pull it up and pr just print it off, okay? So they're free, easy to download, print them off, print off however many you need. Um, and then they're easy to, if something happens to them, to be able to replace, because again, it's just free, you can print it off um, at your leisure. Okay, if you are using Lamp Words for Life, or if you're using Perlico to go, um, or Snapcore first, um, if you go to Basque AAC, B-A-S-S-C, um, A-A-C, our YouTube channel there, I'm a co-collaborator on that channel as well, we give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to go to the websites for each of those companies as well. And, or if you're using Unity 2 from PRC, not just Lamp Words for Life, we show you how to go and be able to download the manual communication boards for free. You should never have to pay for a manual communication board. Please don't ever pay for one. Um, there are plenty out there that are research-based that lead into high-tech speech generating devices um, that are free. Um, so if you're using a different board, just follow one of those videos for how to print off the boards and then that'll get you your manual communication board. You, if you're a parent, you can also just talk to um, either your SLP or your consultant as well and they can hook you up with direct links to be able to download or they may just provide you with the boards as well, okay? All right, so then the fringe strips that are up at the top here is the next step. Um, that I'm going to show you how I did. So again, if you go, I'm going to open up another YouTube channel. Um, and show you the Basque site. So Basque AC, if you go to our channel, we have our videos. Okay, so here are the videos that I talked about that we show you how to download each of those. So the next step would be to be able to get those additional vocabulary. You are going to download the device simulators. Again, this is free for Snapcore first, um, for Chat Editor, which goes with Satillo, and then for the past new voice that goes with PRC for Unity and Lampwords for Life. Those all have free um, downloads. On our Basque AC site, we have videos for two of these, um, taking you step-by-step -step on how you go to the website, how you download it, how you bring up the vocabulary that your child is using or your student is using so that you can get these simulators on your computer. So here are two of the ones. Um, so the chat editor, which goes with all the Satilla vocabularies, and then the pass or new voice software that goes with um, PRC's uh, devices for Unity vocabularies and Lamp Words for Life. Okay, so I have that already downloaded, and I'm going to pull that up here. So here is chat editor because I have a word power vocabulary, so I'm going to be using chat editor because those words are going to match icon wise um, with the manual communication board that I have. So I have this pulled up and for them, they do have a built-in capture feature, which is really, really nice. <laughs> so I'm going to toggle that or um, click that on. Now, one thing you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to is it does have a capture selection over here. Um, so what this means when it's checked on is it is going to record every single thing that you click on and you don't necessarily want that all of the time. So the way that you uh, get around that is you just unclick it. So if I know that I need to go to like groups and then I need to go to furniture um, and I don't want that whole pathway there, I just want certain vocabulary words. I just toggle that off and then whenever I'm ready for it again, I'm going to click it back on and then I can select the words that I want. So for me, I just really thought about the room that I was doing and things that my family communicates with um, and about while we're in that room. And then that led me to add either, you know, fringe vocabulary words, so those nouns, 
or additional core vocabulary words. And a lot of times that's just adjectives that I were, was wanting to add that's not available on that manual communication board that I have. So any words that I didn't have available, but that we often use in that room, I added to this French strip up here. And so um, since I've already started doing furniture, we'll act like I'm doing one for my family living room one. And so I would have chair and couch. We turn the lights on and off in there. Um, we have a bookcase. And so I'm going to talk about the bookcase that's in there. Maybe like you need to go put this on the bookcase or get this off of the bookcase. Um, so I would have that. And then, you know, we have games and books in there. So I'm going to want those. So I'm going to toggle this off. I'm going to go to groups. And this is also nice being able to toggle that off because if you don't know where a word is and you kind of have to search for it, you don't want to have to do all those words over again. Um, but I know it's under toys and games, um, at least is where I can get game. And so I'll just click it back on. I'll be able to add game and toggle it off and I can add a toy in here. Okay, um, let's put puzzle in there because we play with puzzles in our living room a lot. We read books. So I'm going to go home and to read, toggle it back on and put on book. All right, so I'm going to stop there. I usually add, well, I'll put in a few adjectives here. So if we're watching TV, we usually talk about how something is funny or if something is scary in the TV and the show that we're watching. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there, say that's all the words that I wanted. And all I'm gonna do is just copy that to clipboard. And so it's like a copy and paste function. And then I'm gonna go, you can either do a Word document or if you do, you're familiar with Google Docs um, and their programs. I like to use Google Slides a lot. So I'm just going to open up one of those and I'm going to hit control V or you can hit paste. And there you go. And then you just print from there. And then all I did after I did that was tape it to the top. Um, and then you could laminate the whole thing. Um, they also fit inside those clear page protectors that you can buy for cheap at the Dollar Tree store. And then I either taped with masking tape or sticky tacked up to my wall. Sometimes I use zip ties if like, um, if you watch my laundry video and it's the laundry rack or in the car um, to the little spindles that hold on the headrest, you know, I just zip tied them to those. Um, and again, these are, they may get destroyed. My one in my car did. <laughs> so then it's just easy to replace. Um, so I am, though, going to make the strips that I've already made and shown in all of my videos. Um, I've created a PDF document with them, and um, I have underneath it labeled what room they belong to or that I put them in. Um, so if you like these and they apply to your family, you could just print these off and use them as well. Um, but if not, then you can definitely go through um, the chat editor and make your own. Um, with those videos that we showed you in the Basque site, we also, like with the PRC one, we show you how to snip those pictures and copy and paste them out of New Voice. Um, if you're using Lamports for Life Unity, and that's the same process for um, SAP Core, um, which I could show real quick too. If you're using one of those programs, I'll show real quick how I would snip those pictures out. And it's a little bit more tedious. It's not going to be a nice, seamless copy and paste, but it can still work. So right now I'm on a limited, uh, I'm on a vocab builder version of the Lamports for Life. But what I'm going to do is uh, you are on a PC. If you have these programs, they can't really be downloaded onto Macs. Um, so with PCs, um, I'm going to hit the Windows key, Shift S, and that's going to give me my snipping function. I'm going to get this little plus sign. I'm just going to drag it and cut out that symbol. Say I wanted yes for some reason. And then I would just go back to either your Word document, whatever document that you're using to paste these into, 
and then just control V or paste. And then you would do that for each and every single system. And that would be the same for like Snap Core um, if you're doing it off your desktop, off the simulator. If you're using like Proliqua to go, take screenshots on your iPad and then send those pictures to yourself. You can pull them up then on your computer and then you can just go through that snipping process from those screenshots to get the vocabulary that you want. Again, it's a little tedious, but once you do it, save your work and then it's done and you don't have to do it again. Um, and once you get into the flow of it, it goes pretty quick. Um, so I'm going to make this available. It will be down in the description under the video here that you guys can have um, and download if you would like. But I hope this video helps you guys. Um, understand and kind of see with the demonstration of how I made these. Um, and I hope that you make them for yourself at home and that this helps with access to communication throughout your home. Please leave me comments. I would love to hear from you. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me. Um, and make sure you like this video and give me feedback so that I know that you guys keep wanting to have uh, videos like this on the channel. All right. Thank you so much.